you guys, um, the thing is that uh, Janet and I, we had um, a small talk before we right now started the video and we came up with some, you know, topics that we can share with you and that we want to talk about. So I have a list in front of me and I uh, will here and there look on this list to find uh, the topics. So uh, Janet, one thing that we wanted to talk about is uh, like your journey, right? This whole manifesting journey. We all know that this is a super interesting journey, right? Once we started this journey, it like never yeah. ends and we can never right. like think this journey and those teachings away. And you also, you know, uh, went into this journey. So first of all, how long has it been since you started to come into those manifesting teachings in general, not, not specifically Neville, but in general manifesting? Um, I think it started for me about 10 years ago. Yeah. About 10 years ago, um, I was uh, sort of going through a, a difficult period <clears throat> in my life. And I just wanted, I just felt like there's got to be something out there that can kind of give me some relief and, and change my life. Um, and uh, I found that's when I found Neville. And I was really intrigued with him um, because I just resonated with his teachings. But I, my challenge was at the time, it, it was just so new. It was just so new, but so exciting, but I couldn't seem to apply what he was saying. And I just kept reading him over and over and over. And um, I kind of put it, although it was in the back of my mind, I kind of put it down for a minute um, because the whole reason why I got into it was because I was going through a divorce and you know, I, I wanted to see how I could maybe pray a different way to make mm. things happen, right? Um, and then I—that's how I found. That's how I found Neville. Yeah. Um, then after that situation kind of started to resolve itself, um, something else, something else came into my life, and I wanted to have success with it. And I thought, oh, wait a second, maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go back to seeing what Neville is saying. And at that time it seemed like the, the whole law, like the whole manifesting just exploded. I mean, there was all, all kinds of teachings now on YouTube about it. So I started to watch, mm -hmm. I started to watch and it was making things more easier to understand. Um, and, and, you know, it kind of gave me a pathway to kind of start applying it, but there was so much information. And I think at the time too, when I sort of landed in on it, I think, even the people who were teaching it at the time, I think it was still kind of new for them too. So mm -hmm. there were some limiting beliefs, you know, there were some, still some challenges in the way that the information was, was presented, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Um, then I started the journey. Like I just started the journey. I was just really on it. And in the beginning I manifested exactly what I wanted. And, but what I didn't anticipate once I manifested what I wanted, how do I hold on to this? Mm -hmm. How do I keep it? And I started to become um, just really obsessed with, oh my God, I've got this thing, it's happening. I can't believe it's happening, but how do I keep it? And I think being, being in that place, I kind of lost it, but you know, everything happens, um, I think on this journey, it may seem like things are negative or um, not happening, but it, it's, it's almost like it, it happens to sort of push you even more, right? Because once you taste it, like once you taste it once and it's, it's huge, there's no turning back, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So um, that kind of feeling like I, my manifestation was slipping away from me sort of kept me going, like kept me wanting to find out more. So I started to look at more channels and I started to take courses. And then um, I landed in a couple of good areas for where I was at the time, right? Um, but then I just found that it, it became more, um, more kind of, not, I wouldn't say difficult, but it just wasn't being, it wasn't fun anymore. It just felt like it work, 
Like it really mm. felt like, okay, I need to do this. I need to affirm all day long because when I affirm all day long, that's the only way things are gonna happen. If I affirm all day long, that's the only way I'm gonna feel like I have this thing. When the first time when I really got the big manifestation, I was basically doing what your channel says to do, which is, you know, visualize, uh, create a scene, you know, um, and just go into the wish fulfilled. That's how I did it the first time around. But for some reason, as I started on the journey now, different things started to come at me, which are not a loss. And it definitely, it's, it's all like in your suitcase. Like it's, it's, it's you, you have a better understanding now. And what I was looking for all along was a better understanding. Mm -hmm. But then <clears throat> I kind of hit a wall um, in the fall. And I'm like, okay, I'm not giving up. But at the same time, I'm, I'm exhausted. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, I know I need to focus on my self-concept. And I did that for some time. Um, but I still wasn't doing it the right way. And when I say that, I mean, I wasn't landing in a place where I could appreciate or really hone in on being the god of my reality one. Right? That bothered me. because. Like I heard it all the time and it was, it made sense on the surface, but I mean, if someone's going to tell you, you're the, you're the God of your reality and that nothing, there is absolutely nothing that you cannot have and you are unstoppable. Why do I feel like I'm like, why do I feel stoppable? Why do I feel like I have obstacles? Like it doesn't make any sense. And then the other uh, issue for me was, you know, everyone is you pushed out. Okay. No. What do you mean everyone is you pushed out like that? There's shit going on in my life. I didn't ask for this. I wasn't even thinking this. So how did I push this out? So one day, uh, like I said, I hit the wall and your video happened to come up about, um, I think it's called knowing versus doubt versus knowing or something like that. Doubt, something about doubt. Yeah. Doubt, doubt versus fear, maybe, or something along those lines. I will Link this video, we will find it together. I will link this above for everyone that wants to watch the video that uh, Janet is mentioning right now. Yeah, so I watched that video and then I watched another one after that and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna sign up for the, the master class, and I scripted about it. And I said, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the course that I'm going to take. I've taken other courses. I've seen a little bit of movement but this is the course that I'm gonna take that's gonna make the difference. So then that's when you and I met. And yes, it's made a huge difference. It's made a huge difference. What would you say? Uh, and th that was, first of all, a great introduction and a great you know, summary of, of your whole journey, like what you experienced and things that you um, observed while you went through all of these like stages that, that everyone that goes in this journey does like at first oh my god like is this all even real but then we see more evidence and we test a little bit more and we see progress and we just progress um, and you said a lot of times that you that you knew other um, you know uh, channels or other uh, courses and stuff like that but why did you still um, decide to join uh, like this program or what would you say is like the difference between this program and, and other programs, if you would compare it? They, it's the whole premise behind self-concept. Um, the other courses just don't get deep enough. Because if you're anything like me, I'm a very practical person. It's got to make sense. You can't just tell me. Yeah. And it's going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that works. No, <laughs> like I have to understand why. Why? Yeah. So where I was kind of getting caught is be, prior to that, I would sit there and affirm even just for self-concept, I would feel great for about a week or two, but I still didn't know who I was, like really on, an, on a spiritual level. I didn't know who I was. I understood the Bible. I, there's some great Neville verses that he uses too. Um, and they, you know, they feel great, but they don't, they resonate only to a point. Right. So when I was, when I took your course, like within the first couple of days, I was like, 
like I just, what is this, what this means? It's so simple, but yet so profound. Just to give you an example of what, you know, how I saw that in my life, you know, sure. with everything that's going on right now, you know, everyone has a different perception of what we're all experiencing on a global level. Yeah. Right. Um, and I have certain beliefs about it and other people around me have different beliefs about it. Right. But what I got to, how I was able to apply it and it was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. What, what I believe about what's happening right now, I get evidence every single day that what I believe is the truth. Mm -hmm. I get, um, I see news articles, I hear conversations with people, I see articles, these things just keep coming at me and it really holds true to what I believe. So then if I try to flip that around now on someone else that believes the opposite of me, I can only imagine they're getting confirmation yeah. every single day in every way that what they believe is the truth. So how can you judge anybody? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't, you, you really can't and you shouldn't. But in taking this course, it's, it's not just on a very, it's not just on a subjective level. It helps you to understand everything around you, right? So you can actually look at things in a more loving way too, like the people around you and what they're experiencing and what you're experiencing, why they're experiencing the things that they're experiencing, the way they're experiencing it. And then again, you know, it opens your eyes to see how that is all a reflection back to you about what you think, you know, it, it's a, it, it's a reflection back to you on a, how do I say this? Like a, a general level. Mm -hmm. And then on a more deeper level, but it, it just sort of solidifies that whole premise that everything is a reflection of you, right? Yeah. Um, the other thing too, which is more like, um, what would you call it? it it's, it's like a confirmation of my self-concept. Um, like I said, I've been on this journey maybe, maybe 14 years, did I say? Maybe 10, 10 years, yeah. right? Yeah, 10 years. And I have some friends, I have a girlfriend that I've known since I was in kindergarten. And I have another friend that I've known for 18 years. And when I first started to find Neville and the readings, I was trying to get them to do the readings with me. I was trying to encourage them and saying like, this is something we should look into this. And I was getting a lot of resistance and a lot of pushback from them, which I was like, okay. But it just made the journey a little bit more lonely. Um, since I started the course, all these these two late these two friends, as well as a couple of my relatives that I forgot to mention, now they're in it. They're looking at it. Like what they're a coincidence. Actually, huh? what, what a, a coincidence. coincidence. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you know, one of my girlfriends took this really expensive course, like really expensive course, because she wants to to get into it because now she's like she's stoked and and it wasn't because of anything that I said to her of late. It's just that she stumbled upon it because again, she was going through something. But for me, again, it was just a reflection back. Oh yes, what I believe is being reflected back to me, right? So I thought I found that as really interesting and I, I found it as confirmation on a deeper level of what's like what my experience is. Yeah, great, great sharings and great insights that you gave here. Um, now you, you said that, you know, you've been on this journey for quite some time, then you, you tried some things, you joined uh, the Upgrade Your Life program. Now, if you just look back your life now, more so your, your inner world right now, right? Your, your confidence in, your in yourself, your faith in yourself, your trust in yourself, your overall, you know, um, yeah, lovingness and, and, and being relaxed. How has this changed right now? And how was it like back then, like, like a couple of years back? Now, after you went through all of this and had those realizations? Um, the change within has been, for me, profound. I really, feel, I really like how I feel. I like who I am right now. I really do. Um, looking back when I first started, initially it was just excitement, right? Um, 
But then as I tried to get it deeper into the work, there was a lot of anxiety, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of victimization, um, victimizing myself. I really recognize now that that's what I was doing. I didn't realize that then, but you know, a lot of, why can't I do this? Like, what's, what's the problem? Like, you know, uh, impatience, but the worst was the sense of failure. I mean, even though I did see movement, even though I did have manifestations, not being able to stand firmly in it, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, yeah. because I, I, I thought to myself, there's got to be more to this than, than what I'm feeling right now. This is supposed to be a lifestyle change. So how am I going to make this a lifestyle change if I can't even feel comfortable with it? You know, I can't, I, I, not that I can't, but at the time it was just like, I don't know how I could make this a lifestyle change. I want to make it this a lifestyle change. I don't want to go back to what I was doing before because I've seen it. Like I've seen it and I know it's there, but it was a challenge. But now, um, today, I still have my ups and my downs, but they're of no comparison to before. Um, self-inquiry, there's a lesson that you, uh, one of the first lessons, one of the first modules you get into about self-inquiry, that's a deal breaker. Like don't pass go. Like if you don't do that piece, forget it. It doesn't make sense. You might just don't like, don't it's huge. It is yeah. huge. And it's, it's not, um, it's not huge in the sense that it's a lot of work. It's not, it's, it's really not. It's just like, Oh, do you want the keys to the kingdom? Here we go. Like they're yeah. yours. Here you go. And it's easy. Cause really I do self-inquiry now every single day. I will not get up off my bed without doing self-inquiry. And it is profound because even when I have my moments and you will still have your moments because you're human, but this is the best part you realize, honestly, it's okay. Like, it's really okay. You are made this way. You were made this way for a reason. And it all comes together, like your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. The beauty is that you realize that you are not your thoughts. You are not your feelings. You are not your emotions. They pass. Mm -hmm. You know, you're the sky and they're the clouds and they pass. And everything, not just your thoughts, feelings, emotions, but everything actually comes and goes. And that's such a relief because you, you, you get to understand then that, hold on a second. So I feel like shit right now. It's not going to last. No, it's not going to last. It's only going to last if you allow it to last. It's only going to last if you feed it. It's mm -hmm. only going to last if you associate yourself with it. You identify with it. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to look at your thoughts, feelings, as, and emotions as a true reflection of who you are. You're greater than that, yeah. right? Yeah. So just to give you an example, um, last week, and I was triggered by something someone said, which was really innocent, and it was actually reflective, but somehow it still triggered me. And I felt the trigger coming on, whereas before I would never, I would never sense my triggers coming, it would just boom, drop on me, and I, I was gone, gone to the races. But now it's like, I sense the triggers coming on. I even know I can kind of feel when, when it's coming and I'm just like, okay, come on in, settle down. Let's get this done. Like, you know, let's deal with this, right? So this was a really strong trigger for me. And what I did is I just pulled myself back, sat down for a few minutes and just asked myself some questions. Okay, who are you? Yeah. What does it mean? right? Um, are you really moved? And those kinds, of, those kinds of questions, but because I did, and I, and I did it for as long as I needed to do it. But after that session, hmm. I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. It was just some feelings, some unresolved feelings, right? Yeah. I couldn't do that before. I wouldn't even know where to start with that before. I, what I would have probably done in the past is just affirm, 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 affirm. affirm and then you know, you would still feel like crap and you need to go to sleep because that's the only way you're really going to get rid of that feeling for a certain amount of time, right? But this kind of shows you how you can help yourself. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like a, 
a profound deep level of, of, of self-help self-realization that we are just touching base on right now and i think that is like one of the most forgotten aspects when 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 people you know speak about manifesting or share things about manifesting share techniques it's oftentimes all about this technique this affirmation blah 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 but what is oftentimes forgotten all like those deeper levels and that is why and, and you experience it by yourself this is the first pillar also of the of the program is to get this the stability like this inner ground this foundation level this knowing of who we essentially are before we then move forward to the manifestation teachings and the self-concept and how you just explain that is uh, profound and i think uh, you're already really good at, at doing this and at dealing with those you know sometimes triggering emotions or thoughts coming up so that's really nice and and i wanted to ask you um a thing how, how does it feel right now that you do not that you know that you do not have to affirm it away or affirm 24 7 or constantly be engaged in your mind and just be more like relax, go through your life, enjoy it. And then when a desire comes to uh, go to the end, how, how does this new approach feel right now? It, it feels, okay, one, it feels a lot more natural. And because it's natural, it in and of itself is easier to do. Yeah, sure. Right? It's easier to reach for it because you know the relief is there. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not going to be a temporary relief. It's not going to be like, okay, if I do this, I wonder if it's going to make me feel better. You know already, it's going to make you feel better. And feeling, you know, is, is, is really important because it should feel good to do this, right? Um, what I find now, which I don't know, I may, maybe I, I'm repeating myself. I was always chasing after that sense of stability, like just to feel calm with what I'm doing. Like, I don't want to feel tired. I don't want to feel like, you know, I just don't want to feel that way. You know, when I was doing the other thing and screwing up my life, I was calm about it. Like I, you know, I, this should be calm too. And it should be. And without the self-inquiry, you know, the deep sense of knowing, okay, I'm awareness. I'm, I am the God of my reality. Of course I am the God of my reality. I get that now. Um, my perception is everything. Well, I know now I'm responsible for most things that I see, what I think, what I feel. I'm, I'm, I can accept that now. Whereas before I couldn't really accept it. I couldn't mm -hmm. accept that I was responsible because I'm like, things are happening to me. I'm not doing this, but no, you're responsible and it's okay. And it feels okay because you feel grounded, you feel stable, you feel like nothing really can move you. And if you do feel moved, you know already, oh, this doesn't last. Mm -hmm. Oh, it really doesn't last. So when the next hit comes, it's like, all right. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be down for a few minutes, but it's gonna be okay, because it doesn't mean anything. Nothing really means anything unless I say it does, right? Yeah, yeah. Well done. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Um, thanks it for feels, sharing that. It feels good. It, yeah. it feels really good. I, it, I can't it, describe it. it. It's like an. It's like not this. You know. Um, in a sense, played confidence that some people you know put on where they try to act like confident. Oh yeah, I'm the god. Whereas actually they have a lot of doubts and insecurities. But this is more coming from a real like wholeness standpoint, and you really feel it within without faking it. It's just naturally there. You realize that wow, I'm. I'm infinite. I'm not bound to a thought or to an emotion. Like I, I decide what I hold on to be true, what I identify with. And you know, that's, that's, that's one of the biggest revelations in my opinion that someone can have, like, is this uh, that you had and that you are um, right now integrating more in your life. And I think that's amazing. That's really nice. Yeah. It's real nice. Yeah. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. We, we can actually do an entire, uh, you know, conversation only about this topic, right? But it would right. like, you know, uh, be a little bit too long, but maybe we can do this uh, later. But yeah, it's yeah. definitely like the, like that's the core also of Neville's teachings. Again, it's like the I am. It's like the awareness. It's like that you are the God, you are the creator, but not on this human level in a sense. On this human level, you are identified with this human self. But yeah, when you zoom back, when you zoom out, you realize that you are not bound purely to this human level and you're way more than that and this is also what Neville wanted essentially to share with us besides the manifesting and the shifting states yeah which would bring me to maybe the last topic of our conversation let's just see but we we talked about you know being the god of one's reality and really being the cause of our life circumstances 
We talked about self-inquiry and actually, you know, uh, going deep with him. And I, I think one thing that is also quite uh, interesting is like the topic of maybe self-concept and shifting states, because this is, again, like the, the, the another core thing of Neville's teachings. So is there anything that you had, um, like any revelations you had on this or any uh, insights you want to share, any successes you want to share when it comes to the importance of self-concept and states? Um, when it comes to states, that I, I'm still practicing that. Yes. Um, so what I would say is when you are um, focusing on a state, um, you know, you go into your imagination and you create a scene. Um, I think sometimes what feels like the challenge or can be a challenge, but it's just, I'm here to say that it's really just, it's about practice. You've, you've really got to practice it. And it feels really, um, you do, you do get the sense of being in that state when you deliberately go there, like you feel it, you, you, you know, you're there, you touch, you smell, you, you do all those things and it, and it feels real and you're right. Um, you know, one of your lectures, you were saying, when you're in that state, there are no doubts. You can't have doubts because you're there. That's where you want to be. So you're there. What we need to hang on to, though, is knowing when you get up out of that state. I mean, when I say you, you, you get out of your meditation, your, your session, your visualization, you have to kind of remember you've experienced it. That wasn't, that means it's done. Like, yeah. You can't experience something that's not already in existence, right? Absolutely. So this is something I'm still working on mm -hmm. um, because I really enjoy my visualizations. Sometimes I, I'm a little bit long with them, but I have that's something I have to work on, right? <laughs> but feeling, being in that state, what I do find now is at first, um, you know, you do it and you do kind of have this, idea of like okay so where is it i just experienced this that was fantastic but well, where is it mm -hmm. but it's not that you are looking for it you don't you don't and i understand now why you say don't don't do it to to look for it do it to experience it what you've already experienced you will see but it gives you again another layer of peace and confidence yeah so that the next day you know, as you think of your desire, it doesn't feel, it doesn't have that sting to it. It's just like, you don't question it as much because you're, you've already got something in the back of your mind that makes you realize, okay, as a matter of fact, no, that felt really great. Let's go back there. And I find that the more that you do practice it, the easier it gets, the calmer you get, you know, you, you kind of open up yourself more to actually believing that this is going to happen or this it has happened, right? Yeah. And, I, and I think that's one thing that we all have to kind of remember too. You're not doing it to get it. You're gonna get it. That's not the question, but do you accept it? Like, do you accept it? Do you, do you realize that your desire is yours for a reason? Like it's, it's tailor-made for you, yeah. right? So, you have to accept it. And what we don't realize is that a lot of the struggle that we have in manifesting is that we're not accepting it. We're not mm -hmm. accepting that that's ours. We feel like we need to get it. We feel like we, we need to earn it, you know, through affirming all day or through, I don't know, like doing different things, scripting, or these things again are great, but it's all for not to get, it's to give you that relief. It's to give you that confidence. It's to make you feel, it's to make you realize, yeah, it's yours, right? I, big difference, I, big difference. Big is, that, is, that is one of the biggest things why people actually fail so that they keep this desired state, the state that they want to shift into at a distance because they do all of these techniques. They do the scripting, they do the affirming, but again, and they do exactly what you just said. What is also a big part of the, program when you remember is like how to imagine the right way how to do this really exactly the right way and when you do it because you try to manipulate reality because you say this is reality and what i imagine is 
whatever fantasy, yeah. uh, people keep this desired state at a distance, right? They imagine to get it and they, they come out of their session, they still look for it and wait and hope and wish. But what does wishing and hoping and desiring mean? It just means that they are, are not it already within and your world yeah. only shows you what you are. So it's, it, it's such a minor difference that has such huge, you know, um, changes or brings new results. Um, yeah. for, for those of you um, uh, listening to us right now, I will link two videos right now, one on how to imagine the right way and one on the topic of spiritual sensation, because this is what um, we just talked about. It's this topic of you experience it within because it is already done, because it is already available, it is in creation. And that gives you this knowing, this faith, this belief that, wow, this is already true for me. I am already this person that has X, Y, and Z, or yeah. is this type of version? So yeah. um, I love that you just, pointed this out. Just to add to that too, just to be fair, um, just to be fair to everyone when we're talking about that too, um, you've got to be patient with yourself. You really do. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, it's really not. It's, 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 it's going to happen, but just not overnight. And when I say it's not going to happen overnight, I mean you deprogramming yourself to think that, okay, I've imagined this, it's been a week. How come I'm not seeing anything yet? You've gotta be patient with yourself because you're used to being impatient. That's a, yeah. part of, that's a part of who you've been. You're used to instant gratification because that's the world we live in now. That's the world, yeah. That's you it. You press a button, you get everything instantly, you get Amazon Prime, two days, one day, like it's all about, yeah, instantly being, it's, having that. Yeah, yeah, right. And you've got to really allow your mind to accept that you've made a shift within yourself, that you're seeing your life different. You may be 30 years old, you may be 28, you may be 52. Like you've spent a lifetime, your lifetime, thinking things a certain way. You've got to give yourself it's not going to take you 50 years, 28 years, or 30 years. It only takes, it takes, when you really look at the grand scheme of things, it only takes a little bit of time. Yeah. But as long as you go into it, knowing I've got to be patient with myself, it doesn't matter how long it takes me to do this. Right. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm usually very, 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 very patient. Right. But with this, at times I've been extremely impatient, mm -hmm. yeah. but I realized it doesn't matter how impatient you want to be. You're not going to get there before you get there. You can't force yourself. You've got to allow yourself, right, to get there. So I just wanted to say that because, you know, sometimes there might be someone out there right now who's trying their damnedest and doing everything that they need to do. And they are doing everything they need to do. But the one thing that's holding them back that they don't realize, because it happened to me, so I can say it, mm -hmm. you're just not being gentle enough with yourself you're just not being patient enough with yourself your desire it may look like it or you may assume it is but it's not going anywhere it's yours yeah it's not going to go anywhere but when you are ready and you will know because the one thing i can say from experiencing success in the past is that when it's on when it, it when it comes upon you you feel it coming like you know oh my god this is happening oh wow yeah this is happening you have no proof mm -hmm. no proof but you know what's happening but just remember too some of the things that you might think negatively you have no proof of that either you're just thinking it right so at this, go to the, at, at this go to the one wanna... that makes you feel better I want to quickly throw in just quickly uh, like a like a really good quote, which is like um, faith or fear. Both are in a sense uh, believing in something that is invisible, but you choose, right? You can choose yeah. to have faith in yeah. the unseen reality, which is what you already experienced and sensed within yourself, with an imagination that is also not seen for your eyes, but you have faith in that or you have fear. But fear is also, you know, false evidence appearing real. You trust in something or you believe in something, but it's not even there. You just, you know, think about it. So right. that, was an, that was a really good thing that you shared that. Yeah. 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 So. And, and, and you just had this, this, this great tip for people, right? And I also would sometimes love to just tell people, and I do it sometimes, just tell them like, 
relax, like calm a little bit down because you are really worrying too much about all of this here. But I also have to say, obviously, when we are in a, in a really fearful state or anxious, it's easier said than done. That's also right. It is. We can't just always say, relax, just relax. Even though it is important to relax on this journey, uh, sometimes we have we need to have those insights to really know, oh, wow, I can give myself permission to relax and tackle this in a really calm way. Yeah. Maybe to 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 uh, slowly come to a conclusion that we do not have a like too long uh, conversation, but I could keep going yeah. with you for for ages. You just mentioned one great tip, and I always like to ask my guests if they have uh, one, two, or three tips that they would like to share with people listening to that that are maybe more new to those teachings that also want to you know see results, get better, uh, move on in their journey, and make this all easier. Are there maybe other things that you would like to share with someone or with your like past self that would right now listen to all of that? Um, <clears throat> yes. Uh, I, found, I found this very helpful in one of the lessons uh, that you give um, when you talk about obstacles. Um, and I keep listening to it because it does help. Um, uh, you re, you know, you, you know, sometimes you feel like you're going through ups and downs, but they're actually hills and valleys. And I can honestly say uh, there's a lot of truth there because, um, you know, you're, you're still going to experience, even though you're doing a fantastic job and you're, you know, you're shifting in, you're shifting within and you may be seeing things, you may not be seeing anything, you may just be shifting and that just feels really great you're gonna have a moment where you don't feel like anything is happening. You're gonna have a moment where you feel like the opposite is happening. You're gonna have a moment where you feel like, oh, sh is this really working? Like, honestly, even though you've, you've, even though you've been, like you've had great movement and, and things have happened, right? Um, but those valleys that you go through are actually, they're not what you think, you know, they're not, a sign that everything's going downhill, that you somewhere you failed and it's not working. In the moment, it will feel like that. I'm not gonna lie. In the moment, it does yeah, feel sure. like that. You can't sure. find it. it, it feels like that. But when you hold on to, okay, again, not my thoughts, not my feelings, not my emotions, you do a little bit of self inquiry, you do a little bit of reflection, you start to move out of it. And it's true that valley becomes a peak again and it's better it's better than the last peak, peak. that you felt yeah. yeah yeah i know and it keeps it just keeps going you know and sometimes you may plateau longer but then you'll notice that your movement after that within is 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 bigger yes. you know your sense of calmness is is 10 times more than it was last week when you were feeling really great right mm -hmm. and i think that's really important because those valleys can make someone want to say, you know what, like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if you can just, again, like what we're saying from what we were just saying, patience, patience, patience with yourself, patience with the process, know that you are definitely, definitely in the right place. You know, you've got a gift you know, you, you kind of dared yourself to take a journey that a lot of people don't do, can't do, won't think about doing it. But again, once you've kind of tasted it and have allowed yourself to taste it, there's, it's like you become Lot's wife. You know, you turn back, you turn into a pillar of salt. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, you just don't look back, just keep going. Like, there's really no reason to give up on anything once you've started this journey, for sure. Yeah. That's what I would say. I think that's just, you know, some, some amazing final words to, to say to your past self, but also to people listening to that, right? That I want to want some encouragement and actually want someone that also went through this journey, want to hear their experiences. So thank you, Janet, for sharing all of these um, information uh, with the people and on the channel. Thanks for uh, being here. And guys, for those of you who uh, want to learn more about all of this and you're watching those videos, again, take your time to watch the free class in this class. I try to, you know, condense it all together, like what actually matters, cut out all the BS, all the hype that you will see out there. And I think you also watch the, the free class at some point, the free master class yes. that's, that's out there. 
So you will find the link for that in the description. And also if you feel like, okay, I'm ready. I want some like-minded people. I want uh, to be in program like that. That's the second link in the description. You can apply for uh, this, this program. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Janet, thank you again for being on the channel and being my interview guest today and talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.